Well, yesterday we had a lot of cloud cover and we had temperatures that were slightly above average. Then today we had cooler temperatures as well as a lot of sunshine. So now we're just kind of switching it up in our forecast. We're looking at more sunshine that will take us into the next couple of days. But tonight, that cloud cover is going to roll in. Also some fog that we'll see west of the mountains. Taking a live look over downtown. It's looking pretty good for downtown, but you're starting to see those clouds rolling in. I was working on the graphics earlier. I was seeing more sunshine, but now we're seeing mostly cloudy skies for downtown. Current temperature of 64 degrees. Also winds out of the south southwest at 11 miles per hour. So for the rest of tonight, a coastal eddy will develop and that will deepen our marine layer. So Early this morning, we had some fog that was mo moving through. Much of the same is expected by tomorrow morning, starting later on tonight. Reduced visibility with that fog will be possible, as well as some coastal low clouds just extending all the way in towards the inland valleys. And onshore flow is what's triggering this. It'll be gusty at times and cooler for our Thursday forecast. A little bit warmer by Friday before yet another cool down with our next system moving in. As I mentioned, that coastal eddy developed, and we're looking at that once again for tonight, and that will push in some some of those coastal low clouds. We had high clouds by the afternoon hours. We're seeing a good mix of both right now. For East County, you're seeing some high clouds, but right along the coast, you're seeing some low clouds start to move in. We do have a trough of low pressure that's over the west, and that's what's steering that onshore flow. And that will be the case for tomorrow, taking our temperatures even a little below average for daytime highs by tomorrow afternoon. Now we have yet another storm system that will close in. You're seeing that low right over the eastern Pacific and moving in towards the uh, Pacific Northwest. That will take a dive further south, and so that will bring in a chance for some cooler temperatures by the weekend, but it's the one behind it that looks to bring in some shower activity. So with that trough of low pressure over the west, keep in mind gusty winds will continue for the mountains as well as the desert. Gusts up to about 32 miles per hour by 7 p.m. for Borrego Springs. Even indications we could get gusts into the 30s and 40s, even going into tonight, 27 miles per hour for the desert. And then things calm down to more of a breeze by uh, tomorrow, or excuse me, by, yeah. Uh, tomorrow morning. Taking a look at our eight day microclimate forecast, we have yet another system bringing in a chance for showers for the coast starting on Monday, starting on Sunday for the inland valleys. And then also seeing that Sunday all the way into next week for the mountains and the chance for showers in the desert. It is also Wednesday. So let's go ahead and get to Carlene's weather quiz. The question from last week, known for their unique lens almond shape, which clouds do people often think resemble UFOs? The answer is C, lenticular clouds. For this week, our next question is um, more so about high pressure. So which pressure, or excuse me, which direction does high pressure rotate in the northern hemisphere? A, clockwise, B, counterclockwise, C, clockwise only in the summer, or D, until it can't spin no mo. Let me tell you, it's definitely D. And also, I want to give a shout out to our winner for this uh, month. So for the month of March, Constance Jones-Lopez of Lemon Grove won. And so Constance, we'll be reaching out to you so that you can get your prize. And talking about that prize, it is a News 8 mug as well as a gift card to Amazon. So we'll go ahead and enter. You go to cbs.com slash weather quiz, and you can be like Constance, get the mug as well as a gift card. I'll toss it back to you. All right, thanks, Carlene. I just want to point out before I continue, I have a perfect score on Carlene's weather quiz. Zero. I haven't got any of them right. 